Hey everyone, welcome back to another Technique Junkies design team video. Thanks for stopping in. Today we're going to be working with two of the um, April release Technique Junkie stamps, Born to Garden, Forced to Work, and In the Meadow. So some of the supplies, I've got the Born to Garden, Forced to Work, it's just called Born to Garden, and then In the Meadow. And I'm going to be using both of these stamps and um, I've got some ribbon, sorry ribbon. I've got the Verse Fine Claire and Acorn. I've got the Archival in Peony Pink. I've got some paper from my stash and I'll be using some of my Distress Ink. Um, I end up not using the pink ribbon, by the way. So I'm gonna start out with the, um, I'm making like a split card. Not that it's gonna be split in half, but you know, well, you'll see, <laughs> you'll see. I'm gonna grab my stamping platform here and I'm going to, this card will be in portrait mode. Let me get that, I've got that thing in my way there. Let's just move it up so it doesn't slippy slide everywhere. So I'll be going portrait mode and I'm just gonna take the In the Meadow stamp. And this is a border stamp, but I'm making it the top border um, so I'm just, I can stamp it pretty much anywhere, you know, but I, I, you know, on first half of the page or the bottom half, I, I will be trimming it. So I'll go in with the pink peony and I did speed that part up because yeah, it's stamping. Um, and I do stamp it twice just to make sure I've got a good impression. There we go. Get it on there, let that ink soak in, and then I'm just gonna pull this out, take my stamp out, pull this out of the platform, and I'm gonna trim it up. And you can see it's a little crooked, doesn't matter, cause that, you're not gonna see that part. But I am gonna trim this down to four inches. And I'm just deciding which side I should trim off. Okay, I've got that part done, and then I'm going to trim down at the bottom part there. Just make sure my top is nice and even. And I'll set that aside, and then I'll grab my pattern paper. Now, this came from, I think, a Valentine paper pack, but I loved it because it had all the roses on it. And for the look I'm going for, which is sort of an antique rose looking thing, believe it or not, well, you'll see. So I'm trimming that down to four inches. And I'm going to attach those to a piece of 80 pound accent opaque card panel, uh, card panel shape, <laughs> card stock. <laughs> I'll get it spit out. And I'm gonna glue the top half down first. Might fight with my glue a little bit. And I'm just using my normal uh, reptile adhesive like I usually do. And I'm just gonna kind of lay it on there and make sure that it's even on the t left and on the corner. I will trim off that excess um, once I get both of these glued down. So then I'll take my other piece of cardstock that I trimmed and I'll go ahead and glue that down. And for that, I'm gluing directly on the bottom piece. That way I don't have a bunch of excess glue And just make sure it's nice and even on there. Even with the side, I'll be trimming off the bottom so the bottom doesn't really matter. And the other side's gonna get trimmed as well. So now that those are good and stuck, I'll go ahead and take my trimmer and trim off this excess and I can use that paper for another project. So I've got the bottom trim. Now all I need to do is trim the side Okay, so I've got the basis of my card here. Now I'm gonna grunge it up a bit. And that's where I decide I'm gonna use a, the kind of the gold color sari ribbon. Um, these sari ribbons I dyed myself with some spray, spray stain. So I'm just gonna go around all the edges. And it's okay if I get those goobery parts, <laughs> that's for lack of a better word, those marks, because by the time I'm finished, they're going to be just fine. But I'm going around the whole thing, 
and then I will go in on the inside some as well. But I'll dab my ink off a bit on a piece of scrap paper here. That's not scrap paper. <laughs> That's a paper I prepped. Because I want to go in fairly lightly. And I'm just going to bring some of that um, vintage photo down into the design. Just kind of give it a, an, you know, an old beat up look. And same down here with the roses. There we go. Okay, yep, looks like a hot mess, but trust me, it's gonna be cool. I'm gonna take my water sprayer and I'm gonna give it a couple of little sprays, not too much, cause it's not, you know, um, it's not watercolor paper. It's just regular 80 pound uh, cardstock. So now I'm gonna get out my Technique Junkies um, Shimmering Bliss and deciding on a color here. And I decide that I'm just gonna go with the iridescent So I shake it up wrong because here's how Pat says to shake it. This is how you're supposed to shake them. <laughs> and I'm just going to give a couple of squirts on here. Um, it's, it's only noticeable, like in, in film and um, in still pictures, you can hardly tell that it's there. But when you're holding it in your hand, you can definitely tell. So I'm going to wipe off my surface and I'm setting that other piece aside to dry while I do my focal point. So I'm going to get out my stamp platform again, and um, this time I'm going to be stamping out the Born to Garden. And this I'm doing on a 110-pound accent opaque. And I'm going to use the pink peony in the archival ink again. And get my stamp out, and this doesn't have to be on there perfectly either because I'm going to be cutting it out. So I'll do the pink peony and I'll stamp that twice just to make sure that my color is nice and vivid, even though it's a really not a vivid color. This is a kind of a softer look, a lot softer for especially me. And I'm not worried about the garden part because I'm going to be doing something different with that in a minute. Just make sure that's good and pressed down. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna set that aside and I'm going to grab just kind of a piece of scrap. I'm gonna lay the stamp on there where I know the garden part is gonna stamp and I'm gonna stamp that with the VersaFine Claire and Acorn. And then I'll heat emboss that with clear embossing powder. There was a little goober on my stamp. Okay, get that off so I don't have a weird mark in my design here. And I'm just gonna grab my clear heat embossing powder. Move everything out of the way and I'll go ahead and heat emboss. And the only part that I care that is actually embossed is the part that says garden. So I've got my heat tool nice and hot and it's actually kind of burning my fingers. <laughs> Probably should have used something, but yeah, I'm, I'm tough. So I just wanna make sure that that's nice and embossed and I'm going to fussy cut that out off camera because it's fussy cutting. There's no point in wasting your time. So I've got that cut out and I'm going to go ahead and, um, you know, kind of color in the edges with my um, vintage photo here and even get in on the word garden a little bit just to distress it. So not a whole bunch, just some, lightly. All right, so I've got my garden done, and now I need to cut out my design here. So I'm gonna take, I've got this little, um, it's kind of a stitched border uh, die. <laughs> Couldn't think of the name of it. I'm just gonna kind of center that on there, make sure that my garden is, it, is you know kind of evenly spaced and then I'll go ahead and I will cut that out with my Vagabond too. I'll be right back. All right got that cut out and I'm not putting any ink on my little tool. I'm just using what's already on there and then just very lightly going around the edges of the sentiment 
statement. I'm going to call it a statement instead of a sentiment. <laughs> Just to kind of, you know, make it sort of match with everything else. But I'm not going to go into it with the color. Just the edges. So I've got this piece here. And now I'm going to take a piece of my sorry ribbon. And I'm going to trim it off. See, it's knotted right there. I bought a big old thing of it, and I just kind of spray them, use them, spray them, use them, spray them, use them. And I don't care if this is wrinkly and foldy and stuff. I want it that way. It's part of the charm of the design here. So I'm going to take my double-sided sticky tape here, and I'm going to place it down right between those two designs. I'm going to tear the tape off a little bit longer on each side and then fold it over. Okay, and then I'm going to lift the backer off of the tape. How about, yeah, there we go. I like to use my pokey tool to lift these kinds of things. And I'm going to set this down there on that um, on that tape because I don't want that backside to stick to my work surface. So I'm just going to lay it down there fairly even and then just fold it over on each side and it'll stick nicely so I don't have to fight with it and trying to wait for glue to dry. So there we go. Now I'm going to put that down onto a craft card base and you notice that one has just a little bit of overhang. So I'm going to cut off that overhang and I like to keep those pieces and use them to decorate some things. I won't use them for this card, but I'll probably use it for another card. I know you've probably seen some of my cards that have pieces of paper sticking out. Well, that's what that is. I'm looking for another one. Usually there's two. <laughs> oh well, moving right along. So I'm going to pop this up onto that craft card base, and that's going to be a side folder. And I keep a little piece of that um, backer tape, uh, that backer piece on, on my tape roll so that if I need to trim my tape, I can lay that um, backer on there and trim it without having my scissors get all weird and sticky. I'm just going to use three pieces, and this one's a little bit thicker, so I use different thicknesses for this because I don't want it to stick out gigantic. And again, I like to take my pokey tool and stab the stuff, stab the backer to peel it off. And then I'm going to stand up to do this so that I can look directly over it, and then do my best to lay it on evenly. You can put glue down first so that you have wiggle room, but I'm just flying by the seat of my pants right here. <laughs> so then I'm going to also raise up this piece right here with a, a um, double-sided sticky tape that's not quite as tall, I think. I think it's not quite as tall. It doesn't look to be. I mean, it's it's negligible, but still. I'll do the same thing, just lay down that tape, trim it off, and I'll also do three pieces of this. So I go one side, the other side, then I do the middle. That way I don't, you know, I can kind of judge my space there if I have space for it or if I need to trim my tape down. Okay, so I'll pull the backers off of those. Up you go. Let's go. <laughs> I fight with that stuff, especially those little tiny square ones. Ugh, those things. Okay, now I'm going to set this on here. I'm going to make sure it's not upside down. I'm just going to kind of eyeball where to set it. I'm going to kind of get it mostly in the center. And commit. <laughs> now, finally, I'm just going to stick the little brown garden that we did. And I'll use my little foam squares with that one. So it's good to have a variety around. I have a ton. Some I bought scrapbook.com, some I bought Amazon, some I bought the dollar store. Just whenever I see it, I buy it. Because I use it. 
so it's not like it's going to sit around like some other stuff I buy and never use. <laughs> and there's where that pokey tool comes in handy. Those things are hard to get off. Whether you have long nails, no nails, it doesn't seem to matter. All right, and I'm going to place this down. Kind of make sure it's even over that pink part. And all I have left to do is do some embellishment. And I'm going to do pearls on here. I think this card asks for pearls. So let me grab my little pearls here. And I'm just going to take some, and these are some that I bought a quantity of all different sizes at Amazon. I'm just going to use one size. And I like to pour quite a few out so that some of them flip the right way because it's really hard to flip them over. And I'll just kind of decide where I want to place them. Then I'll place glue down and glue them down. So don't forget, you can save 10% if you use my discount code TJ10COLOR on anything at Technique Junkies. And um, I really do thank you for watching my video and supporting me and my endeavor and being on the being new to the Technique Junkies design team. This is my first month. I'm having a lot of fun with it. Of course, everybody knows I love Technique Junkie stamps, so, you know, it's, it's a no-brainer. can do those easily. <laughs> Any one they have, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll stamp it. I'll design it. I'll drop that pearl, and yeah, see, trying to flip those over is a nightmare, so I'm just going to throw it back in the fish pond, grab a new one, and place it down. Yeah, and I think I'm good with just the three pearls on here. Well, I hope that you like this video, and I hope you give me a thumbs up, of course. Uh, here's the finished card. It's all antique looking and stuff. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my video. If you want to see more videos, hit that subscribe um, button. And if you want to be notified when I upload a new video, hit that notification bell. Have a great day.